captured on PS5, mix of gameplay and in-game cinematics. Let's go! So, here's a huge fact about me, guys. I'm a huge God of War fan. From the OGs of PlayStation 2 days, all the way to God of War 4 and the reignition of the franchise and the character of Kratos and all that stuff. So, I have the special edition from PS4 and I'm actually planning on playing it again on PS5 uh, at 4K60 before the new game comes out. I actually have made a short film based on God of War following uh, the events of God of War 4 in kind of like an imaginative like future that was actually commented by Santa Monica themselves which was super sick. Now I only had 500 bucks to spend of it with my own money, time and friends and all that sort of thing so it's not a masterpiece but I will really appreciate if you guys uh, take a look. Another super cool thing is that one of my best mates Abyss that I made it with, him and I are starting a new YouTube channel and I'll have the trailer down in the description below it's really funny guys and it reveals a huge fact about me that you guys have been asking me constantly speaking about short films and making something because you're passionate today's sponsor is Skillshare Skillshare is an amazing online platform community full of creative lessons to help you get started with your passion your interest anything you're keen on today now the super cool thing is that all lessons are made by people who exercise the craft and they really care. What's also super nice is that it's completely ad-free, so it's just you and the lesson. Once again, they have been amazing, and for the first 1,000 of you guys that click the link in the description, you're gonna get one month of free trial for Skillshare. It's that easy. Go on the search bar and type exactly what you're interested in, start browsing, and see where it takes you. I have used Skillshare in the past myself, and if you're into the things that I am, I highly suggest courses such as low-budget filmmaking, cinematography basics, as well as an editing course depending on your software of choice. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring yet another episode and bringing you guys another free trial. And with that said, let's fire up YouTube and check out God of War Ragnarok. Full screen and one, two, three. Oh, this makes me so happy. Sony, my boy. There he is. Where's my... <clears throat> Captured on PS5, mix of gameplay and in-game cinematics. Let's go! I'm gonna put this down, cuz... Atreus, that music, mate! Oh, oh. Time is running out. The prophecies say Fimwinter leads to Ragnarok. He's quite grown now, he's like, um... 15, 16? doesn't end hiding in these woods. Oh, there she is. Also, it goes like. And if those answers lead to war with Asgard, maybe that's what Mother wants. You do not know what Mother wants. Boy! Well, I'm recognizing that. What was that? General expression anywhere. So it goes straight from the last game action, like a year or two later. We have to dare to consider. What if there was someone who could help us? Give me two. The old God of War is last. Atreus. Whoa. Mate, he looks amazing, by the way. He knows seeing he wasn't found. If he's out there, we gotta find him. Come in. I don't know what to focus on the graphics, the art, or the content. We're trying to stop Ragnarok. To help people. Oh! What if the only way to do that is work? Let's go, Blaze of Chaos Boy! War is not the only way. Says the God of War. You seem like a calm and reasonable. He doesn't know his past, so. Because he was a general of Sparta. And God. Thor! Let's go! Oh my god, it looks insane, guys. Oof! Let's go! In moments of crisis, panic is nothing. Hard is it? Let it serve you. Let's go, boys! Oh! Are you coming with us? 
Who's in here supposed to be dead? From the. <laughs> oh shit! Who are you? PlayStation. <sighs> like this, uh, this, uh, the trailer. Like this video as well, guys. How sick was that? From the art style, the graphics, the content. I'm so freaking excited. Now, you know what's super cool? Uh, like I told you guys, if you click the new channel trailer, you're gonna uh, learn basically where I'm from. Uh, and let's just say... Because um, I don't want to spoil because it's a really funny uh, video and I want you guys to watch it. But uh, let's just say I am quite relating to Kratos. Okay, let's just put it that way. Um, it's just so sick, man. I love it. Uh, I'm actually surprised by how continuous it is based on where the game left off. Now, Atreus is a tiny bit older, but you know how like between the age of like when you're like 12 to like 16 your growth span is like insane like within a year or something you're like whoa what happened to you mate um so in that sense i i think it's interesting that they're starting quite where the last game left off and it looks quite similar to the game but of course with improved graphics on ps5 and new areas and worlds and um fights to happen and it's just sick mate as a trailer i was really struggling to take my eyes off what I was seeing and process on Kratos' um, voice, narration, and like kind of like story. But I'm, pff, they got me, man. It's like a day one, like I said, I'm just gonna replay uh, God of War 4 on PS5 and then take it from there. So let's jump back, guys, and talk about some cool effects, cinematic things, filmmaking stuff, game stuff, all this stuff. Um, and have uh, and have some fun. So let's see how they open this up again because it was quite um, elegant if I can put it that way Okay, so once again as we've seen numerous times they bleed in the sound first to let our minds wander but also direct them in a specific way because with sound you start painting an image even though you haven't seen anything yet so here we hear leaves the wind and that sort of thing so what they do after is they fade in the image and we start with Kratos himself being inside a cave and it's very icy this serves as a composition because we have Kratos straight in the center and then uh, just the environment in the back, it serves as kind of like a very soft introduction to the character because it's almost as if we're sitting with him in the fire. Versus, for example, if you guys remember on the first God of War 4 trailer reveal, we see Atreus running in the cabin and then Kratos is in darkness and then he's revealed by walking into the light. That is a complete contrast between this um, trailer for God of War 4 five technically I guess um, which is super interesting then we have uh, a silhouette of another character approaching which is super interesting because now that I look at it guys check this out this is sick Atreus because he's like carrying um, a deer or whatever but the horns are almost as if it's his head and if you think about it Loki um, and I know it's very kind of like silly to compare him with Avengers, but at least the character of Loki is supposed to have some form of horns, as I understand it. So here is almost as if they're implying with imagery about him, which is sick, but as he gets closer, the silhouette stops being a silhouette and the music made, by the way. Dun, dun, dun. Amazing. Now we see him. So it's actually a complete reverse. The first God of War 4 trailer, we were seeing Atreus in the light and then Kratos came from dark to light. And now we see Kratos being on the light and then Atreus comes as a silhouette darkness and comes to the light. That's, that's pretty sick. Boom. The graphics made. The freaking graphics. Santa Monica. Mm, let's go. Running out. The prophecies say Fimwinter leads to Ragnarok. 
So again, now they're actually using, so this is, narration is different than using existing um, conversations that will occur, whether it is a movie or a game, and overlay them to other scenes that this conversation is now occurring. It's a very interesting technique to give exposition and kind of like some elements of the story, but without it being narration or showing you the exact scene. War is coming. My story doesn't end hiding in these woods. Wow, Atreus still talks a lot, to be fair. I should be out there. Boy. There. Well, now he's like a... I don't know, whatever. Out is that... who Loki is. Oh, well, you guys already started when you kill Baldur. Baldur? I don't, don't want to fight anyone. Boom! Let's go! Just want answers. That's nice. So be it. Maybe that's what Mother wants. You don't know. I guess the relationship is still like, you know, they they grind off each other quite a bit. Is like a versus thing, like, which is, yeah, fair. Oh, that's disgusting, mate. Well, I recognize that. I like I like that the the entire gang is still together though, and they're still going to the next adventure. That's pretty. Cool. So, this trailer essentially is a bit hard for me to break down uh, filmmaking wise because they're using a ton of gameplay with the uh, technique that I discussed before which is basically overlaying existing conversations that occur throughout the game but showing the gameplay itself. We have to dare to consider. What if there was someone who so I wonder if they're, I bet they have to, like they have to make it one shot again. It's crazy. Look at it, mate. It's amazing. Tear, the old God of War. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yep. See, he says he's dead, but he's not, because at the end of this trailer, they find him, he's this colossal dude. Look at this, guys. Instead of me talking about films, we're talking about graphics, but oh, heck yeah, mate. The art style is impeccable, mate. He wasn't found. If he's out there, we gotta find him. Come in. What in all yarns be the happen to him? He is grown. He has grown quite a bit. Oh, what is that, mate? Why would you have that? Oh. Gameplay. Let's go. I love the, the in terms of art style and what they use uh, to compose the scenes. It's actually amazing the range that they're having. So we have snow, we have spring, we have fantasy worlds, we have the entire spectrum of what you would want and they've just made such an amazing art style selection and their color scheme depending on each location just feels unique but also somehow granted to realism based on that art style that they've created is just amazing oh place of chaos baby mm. i mean spoiler alert i guess if you haven't played god of war 4 but the story moment when kratos get, has to go back and get the blades of chaos Masterpiece. It's not the only way. Stop thinking like a father for a moment and start thinking like a general. No. That was sick because you know, we know that uh, Kratos, uh, from back when he was a Spartan and then he became God of War, he used to be an actual general and uh, give orders to slaughter so many things. So it's interesting that his own son now, so many years later, tells him, don't be a father, be a general. That must poof, flip him off so bad. You seem like a calm and reasonable. Person. Now we have the voice of Thor. Good freaking voice acting, mate. It's like sinister and it ignites some form of fear due to the power that he has just with voice. Are you a calm and reasonable person? Almost a bit a tiny bit Thanos like. Everything needs to be balanced. Gameplay! Oh, yes. Crisis, what is it? Are you coming with me? Entitled. Yeah, uh, like I said, not many things to discuss, unfortunately, uh, filmmaking wise, because they actually show so much gameplay. Um, but it was still sick, and I love how they introduced the title at the end with having a cliffhanger scene. The sound builds up in the soundtrack, the classic soundtrack, and then boo, in the next 
in the next drop the title comes and appears. That is sick, mate. I'll get your answers soon enough. Well, some of them. Again, look at that location, mate, and the graphics. That is a sick. Okay, guys, that was it. So freaking excited about God of War Ragnarok. I hope you guys are excited as well. It's been one of those special games since my childhood, basically. And I just, I can't believe that it's going uh, still on to such an impeccable level of awesomeness. Uh, so I can't wait. Thank you, Santa Monica. You guys are freaking ace. So yeah, let me guys know what you thought in the comments down below. Check out the new channel trailer. Check out my God of War short film as well. And check out Skillshare. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Until then, stay awesome and creative.